Hello everyone, welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to prove the uh, gamma function definition, uh, the virus definition of gamma function, gamma of x is equal to e to the minus gamma times x, gamma we know Euler's mass coronary constant over x, uh, infinite product uh, 1 to infinity, e to the x over n over 1 plus x over n. Well, how to begin? Okay, in the previous video, uh, I discussed, I proved the Gauss representation of a gamma function. So, uh, I'm going to begin with the Gauss representation of gamma function. If you like to watch that video, I will add the link in the description and also make a card. So, uh, we know the Gauss representation gamma of S is equal to uh, limit n approaches to infinity n factorial times n to the s over s times s plus 1 times s plus 2 uh, and uh, last term s plus n well uh, now i am going to uh, take the reciprocal of uh, this part so we have uh, s times s plus 1 times s plus 2 uh, this is going to s plus n over uh, n factorial times n to the s now uh, let us simplify uh, here 1 over n to the s so 1 over n to the s times here we have s uh, then s plus 1 but here we have n factorial so we can write uh, here s plus 1 over uh, 1 then s plus 2 over 2 uh, so here 1 2 3 4 and this is going to end so uh, we know this is equal to n factorial so uh, this is going to s plus n over n let us uh, simplify here uh, 1 over n to the s uh, here s times now here we can write uh, 1 plus s over 1 then uh, 1 plus s over 2 uh, this is going to 1 plus uh, s over n okay then uh, as the next step uh, here 1 over n to the s so we can write uh, n to the s uh, e to the uh, s times natural log of n uh, times now here we have uh, s times 1 plus s over 1 1 plus s over 2 and this is going to 1 plus s over n <coughs> then i'm going to multiply by uh, times here mm. now i'm going to multiply e to the minus s times e to the minus s over 2 and uh, we know this is going to e to the minus s over n and also i'm going to multiply by e to the s times 1 plus 1 over 2 plus uh, this is going to 1 over n now we know uh, this part and this part uh, if we want uh, we can cancel them okay then um, here now uh, we have e to the e to the s times uh, 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over n here we have e to the s times natural log of n so e to the s 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus uh, this is going to 1 over n because here 1 over n and here we have natural log of n so minus natural log of n okay then uh, this part uh, so we have s times 1 plus s over 1 1 plus s over 2 and uh, we know this is going to uh, 1 plus s over n uh, times still we have this part uh, so uh, times e to the minus s e to the minus s over 2 uh, this is going to e to the minus s over n well uh, then uh, if we take the limit limit uh, when n approaches to infinity here uh, we know when n approaches to infinity uh, this part uh, so we have 1 over gamma of s so we know 1 over gamma of s 
is equal to uh, now here uh, we know now gamma gamma uh, Euler's Mascorani constant is equal to uh, limit n approaches to infinity 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 uh, plus 1 over n minus natural log of n therefore here we have uh, gamma so we have e to the uh, gamma times s and here we have s so s uh, then other terms so we can represent uh, as an infinite product n is equal 1 to infinity here uh, this part we know 1 plus s over n 1 plus s over n uh, here this is equal to e to the minus s over n okay now uh, again if we take the recipro reciprocal we know gamma of s is equal to e to the minus gamma times s over s uh, infinite product n is equal 1 to infinity e to the s over n over 1 plus s over n okay this is the uh, proof of Weiss's definition of gamma function if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching